Hello everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create custom velocity field for the pyro. Um, first of all, uh, let's make a bigger box because we will need that. Okay, uh, maybe a little bit bigger. So, before jumping to um, our custom field, so let's see our smoke simulation. Um, there is nothing important. It's just just a regular setup. Um, I turn it off everything just the buoyancy it has over here So first of all, uh, I'm creating a Polygon and then scattering some point. Um, this attribute wop is empty. So there's nothing over there. So um, This attribute wop. So I have the curl noise over here. So um, Because I will feed all my setup over here, then I will feed it to velocity so the reason I'm doing that, so when I rasterize from uh, rasterize volume rasterize from attributes, so I'm going to use the velocity as attribute. And when I come to volume trail, so this will be my visualization, so how it looks like. So right now let's let's play around a little bit. So first of all, I will need a relative binding box um, because yeah, let's connect that because right now. Uh, is, is working for the position base like from 0 to 20 right so but if I connect uh, my position with relative binding box so this data will automatically will calculate the, this box so this way I will not use the use uh, the fit function all the time so right now let's come here let's make this guy a little bit oh maybe 10 yeah 10 is cool Okay, let's create um, vector from float because first of all I will need to use y direction to create a ramp because I don't want to see force over here so maybe the force can start around here right so and I'm going to ramp this from y direction let's call this ramp y and let's convert this to spline Okay, right now when I use multiply over here and when I multiply the curl noise, it will disappear because my ramp is like zero. Okay, right now, so I have a control for y axis. Yeah, maybe not in the beginning that much, and then I can have like all the wind. So, right now, I can copy this method for x vector to like this is x let's change the name to x and let's say this is ramp x and let's multiply this too yeah i already have the visualization so right now if i go to x yeah i can control my force over here too so maybe um maybe not too much wind over here so i want more turbulence here like when it go for example like this so the pyro can be more straight over here and this part will be more turbulence let's see let's reset, reset the simulation and keep this uh, maybe half of the simulation maybe yeah there is very little over here oh it's not happening because we didn't connect so yeah let's connect another uh, volume force over here so right now like this part will affect it all the force over here but this part is just still going up because there is no any force over here to affect that but this force I see is very powerful over there so um, maybe we should add another input and let's say this force multiply so this will be our um, like if it's zero there will be no force it will be just zero if you keep one there will be force everywhere and maybe we can keep it 25 so this way it will be less force right okay there's another thing uh, I want to add um, I'm gonna have the add function over here and middle click promote parameters 
So I'm gonna say this wind direction and I'm gonna convert this to three floats. So right now I have a wind direction too. Like if I go down, for example, X, so if I add more X, yeah, we will see more. But I should do this here. This way I will still be able to multiply, like not here, not there. And let's see. Yeah, it's still affecting, but um, I can't turn it off. Let's visualize how it's gonna look like. Um, we should have a little bit direction going, going this way, which started from here. This is why I didn't wanna have the wind over here. Okay, it's going there too much. Um, I can add, let's visualize this, maybe a little bit up direction too. Yeah, yeah, I like that. And maybe this part, a little bit more turbulence, so this way they can go spin over there. And after here, yeah. All right, let's see. Cool. It's not ha nothing happening over here, and then it's going up and wide direction. Um, so this is a very good technique to use with the uh, with the pyro. So this way, um, I will have a really good control of the wind. So um, wherever this box is, we will have all uh, custom our velocity force, and you can extend, make bigger or smaller this box. Um, this way, you can control. Uh, the wind direction or turbulence direction. Um, I didn't do anything actually over here so with this setup below the smoke it just rasterized volume so you should connect that inside your uh, I mean you should merge that with, with uh, same with your uh, smoke object smoke geometry um, and I think it's the same with the axiom too uh, I don't have the axiom but if I can download or get the free version so exam so I can show you that too um, but if you're not using like a pyro solver on the soap level but if you're doing it at top network so this is my like a regular setup let's turn it off everything disturbance wind just dissipation and buoyancy so in normally when you have this sor volume source you know you can connect your out volume like uh, this one and all this trail I put a name like custom well so and the other connection you can you can bring your custom well and source volume is velocity and target feed is velo well so which means velocity so you will have the same same effect with this one too um, I always prefer to use DOP network I don't know why maybe maybe I'm a little old school but I find that so even though I have full control over here depending to my simulation I can always control my velocity from here too or more you know so I don't know somehow I, I, I feel like it's more useful yeah after this point is all your creativity and the way you want to create your volume trail and custom velocity so it just basically just one little attribute wop and little kernel so you can use any kind of curvers of course and after that is your creativity to create like uh, wind traction or wind form yeah thank you guys